Yes. Plus seven cancel and so now we have y squared plus three y equal to what? Minus seven. Then from this one I will move to what? You add the square of the half of the quotient of the y to both sides. That is, we add add the square the square the square of half of half of the coefficient coefficient of y to both sizes. So then we have y squared, isn't it? Give the y now plus three y plus the coefficient of y is what three. That's into bracket half times three all squared equal to minus seven plus half times three all squared. For that we have y squared plus three y plus three all over two squared. That is half times three is three over two, which is given us plus minus seven plus three over two squared. So if I try this one, I'm actually you pick one from here, you pick one from this one, this one, y plus 3 all over 2 all squared equal to minus 7. And first, this one, this one, give us what? Plus 9 all over 4. So simplify the, simplify the right hand side. Simplify the right hand side. And you have y plus 3 all over 2 all squared equal to, the SM of this one is 4, that is, then multiply this for this one give us what? How many four we say in this one? How many more we say in four? Four. Four times minus seven minus twenty-eight plus nine all over four. From there we have from there we have y plus three all over two all squared equal to equal to what? Minus minus twenty-eight plus nine is what? Plus one is equal to minus 19 all over 4. Let's find the square root of this. This will give us y plus 3 all over 2 equal to plus or minus square root of minus 19 all over 4. From here, you know, you know that this 4, for the minus 19, that's where you can find the square root of minus 19. So you leave this one, find the square root of 4. We have y plus 3 all over 2 equal to plus or minus square root of minus 19 all over 2. So, we move on. We move on to what? So, what else do we now? Bring this one to the other side. That is, y equal to minus 3 all over 2 plus or minus square root of minus 19 all over 2. From there we have y equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of nine, minus 19 all over 2 or minus 3 so yes. For the other let's separate this on this on the side. We have y equal to minus 3 plus square root of minus 19 all over 2 or minus 3 minus square root of minus 19 all over 2. Here is the final answer. So I need just um, we will stop here and next class we will go to the next topic which is what solving quadratic equation you say it was quadratic formula. So in next class I will tell you how to derive Quadratic formula, you say completely the square and then we apply it. Take it to see next class.